Welcome to this special edition of the Council in Brief. I'm Susan Kennedy. We are unquestionably turning to a new and brighter and exciting chapter in our history. Opening words from County Council President Tom Hucker as the council approved the $6 billion operating budget for fiscal year 2022 and the $4.3 billion amended capital budget for fiscal years 2021 through 2026. The theme of this year's budget, recover and rebuild. When we embarked on the budget this year, I said that over the year ahead, we would have the opportunity to recover and to rebuild a Montgomery County that is stronger and healthier and more prosperous and more equitable and more sustainable than the one we have today. And I still believe we cannot miss that opportunity. That's the path I believe we are on with the adoption of this budget. This budget is both responsive and it's responsible. It's responsive because it addresses the widespread needs of our residents, including many needs that have been unmet by the county government for years, including more mental health, more help for students, for housing, for transit riders, for pedestrians and cyclists, and for residents experiencing homelessness. The budget provides a $25 million increase to the Working Families Income Supplement for a total of $45 million in direct support to the county's hardest working and neediest residents. It also provides more than $13 million to county nonprofits and $24 million in rental assistance. The $6 billion operating budget doesn't give us just a roadmap through the next few months of this pandemic. It sets us up for long-term recovery and revitalization that awaits beyond the pandemic. Councilmember Nancy Navarro chairs the council's government operations and fiscal policy committee. She says this budget puts the county in a prime position to rebound from the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. I'm proud that despite our challenges, the county has been able to retain its AAA bond rating. Our county reserves now will be at 9.6% with a clear path towards reaching 10% as mandated in our fiscal plan by FY24. It has not been easy. Initial revenue projections were bleak and throughout the course of the pandemic, it was not abundantly clear if we would be able to sustain a budget that would allow us to meet the critical needs and maintain our investments in strategic areas of the county. While this budget is better than what I anticipated, we must remember there are, that our economy is just now starting to open up. The council allocated record funding, $363 million, to the county's Department of Health and Human Services, which has been front and center in providing essential services to our residents over the course of the pandemic. While the federal government has supported the cost of testing and vaccinations, the council funded several initiatives that extended the social safety net, including a wellness center at the new Seneca Valley High School and an additional $3 million to increase emergency shelter capacity. Uh, we increased the developmental disability supplement. Uh, we increased the adult mental daycare supplement. Uh, we provided health care for the homeless. We added health care for the homeless uh, uh, fund. We added funds for care for kids. Uh, we were able to initiate um, our county's dental program. Special credit to Councilmember Rice uh, for taking a lot of interest in that issue. This budget also reflects the council's longstanding commitment to education. $2.78 billion will go to fund Montgomery County Public Schools. The budget also fully funds Montgomery College and provides resources to maintain the tuition rate. Of course, I'm proud of the continued commitment and prioritization of education and understand the value that our educational institutions bring. They are the basis of our success. We know it, whether it's economic development, whether it's public safety, whether it's workforce development, all of those things that we know are so important to our community start with education. In the end, Council President Hucker says this budget will build a county that is stronger, healthier, and more equitable than the one we have today. This budget's a welcome sigh of relief after a year of unprecedented challenges. It updates our priorities. It puts us in a strong position for sustained fiscal recovery. And as I said at the beginning of the year, let this be the year of recovery. To view the budget in its entirety, visit the webpage. Well, that does it for this edition of the Council in Brief. For County Cable Montgomery, I'm Susan Kennedy.